Hey guys, my name is Joe Secreti. I'm the owner and operator of Maxim Canine and Dog Runner USA. I'm a trainer, canine handler, and dog sport competitor. I've been using dog treadmills in my training for the past 20 years. I've owned and used slat mills, carpet mills, and many different types of electric treadmills. I think they all serve a purpose. However, I found the electric treadmill to be the most versatile for my lifestyle. Over the more recent years, the popularity of the dog treadmill has grown. But unfortunately, the education on how to introduce a dog to the treadmill and at what rate to progress is not commonly known. I've heard many stories of dog owners who have had unsuccessful experiences when introducing their dog to the treadmill for the first time. This video is a breakdown how I go about introducing the dog to the electric treadmill. The key points to follow on this video are, one, have a strong trusting relationship with your dog, two, have clarity and communication, three, follow rate of progression that is comfortable and achievable for your dog, four, be patient, and five, and most importantly, make sure you're having fun working together. I hope you guys enjoy this video. For more information, check out our website, MaximumCanineService.com. Thank you. In this video, we are introducing Karina the Rottweiler to the Dog Runner Revolution Pro electric treadmill. However, this process can be modified to introduce any dog to any type of treadmill. When we introduce any new objective, we like to treat it like a game or a puzzle that you and your dog can play together. The treadmill is just like another game, and with any game, there's an objective in mind social interaction, obedience, and teamwork. Guidance and keeping the dog interested in the game is imperative to create the proper learning environment. This environment will keep the dog predicting the next opportunity to play the game. The first step in the process is to make sure the dog is comfortable around the treadmill. First, put the dog's leash, harness, or wide flat collar on, then take your dog near the treadmill and let them explore it while it's off. If they are scared or uncertain, take the time to motivate them and reward them for any accomplishments. Even one baby step towards the treadmill is a success. Start to incorporate your obedience near the treadmill while adding variable rewards such as treat, praise, and play to help them get more comfortable and understand the game. The second step is to teach the dog to enter and exit the treadmill. Once they seem comfortable, teach them to enter the back of the treadmill, then mark the behavior with a signal, and then reward them. You will then release them through the front exit door and mark and reward this behavior. Repeat this a few times until you see the dog proactively and excitedly participating in the game. The third step is to teach the stand or sit and stay on the treadmill. You must repeat the process of directing the dog to enter the back of the treadmill, but now have them stand or sit and stay on the middle of the treadmill for a duration of time. Mark and reward this behavior, then release the dog through the front exit door and have a play session. This process should be repeated a few times with the expectation of longer stays. An example of what this looks like is a stand and stay for three seconds, mark it, then reward, then stay for six seconds, mark, then reward. You can then release through the front exit door and then have a big play session. The fifth step is to teach the dog the value of turning the unit on and off. Repeat all the previous steps and once the dog is harnessed and in a stand or sit position with the handler next to the treadmill and holding a loose leash attached to the dog's collar, you can then turn the power on. When you hear the unit turn on with a beep sound, mark that and reward the dog. The unit will start to move at a very slow speed. Do not increase this slow speed. 
Motivate and guide the dog to move forward. Mark and reward any forward steps. Repeat these steps a few times, increasing the duration of the walk by seconds and making this part of the game. Again, it is very important that you do not increase the speed. The next step would be to make sure the machine is turned off, then mark and reward this. Then release the dog from the machine via the front exit gate and then play and reward. The sixth step is building the dog's confidence and motivation while the handler changes their guidance position from side to front of the machine. Repeat the previous steps, but once the dog starts walking, the handler should change their position from the side to the front of the treadmill while holding a loose leash attached to the dog's collar. Please continue to mark a reward while you're in front and next to the dog. After a few times building longer duration in each position, you can then shut the treble off and unhook the harness from the top support bar. Mark and reward. Free the dog via the front exit gate and play and reward. Continue to repeat the process and make sure you and your dog are having fun. The seventh step is teaching your dog the value of increased speed, incline, and duration. It is extremely important to follow the previous methods of progression to introduce any new changes. Remember, the first impression is everything. Don't just expect your dog to understand the training. You need to be clear and guide them. When adding an incline, increasing the speed or duration of the workout, do not ever rush the process. Make sure you are marking and rewarding the progression and then stopping the machine on a good note to boost you and your dog's confidence. Every training session should end with you releasing your dog and having fun. This method will keep the game interesting and fun. Up to this point, we taught the dog to trust our guidance and understand our signals, and in the end will result in a fun, fulfilling game that you play together. Remember, always have fun, read your dog, take rests, and monitor your dog for safety. If your dog is showing fatigue, becoming limp, or showing excessive heavy breathing, stop immediately and do not continue. Please have your dog vet checked and cleared prior to resuming any exercise. 
For more information on treadmills or other health and fitness topics, click the link in the video description. Hope you enjoyed the video and thank you for watching.